One, two. He lost a really beautiful person in the Monroe County community. He was one of the first garage bands. His name was Bob Wagner. Yeah, we all knew him, and we all knew how to do the devil dance. Chingy, do you have something to add to this? So, if you can believe it, 60 years ago, when I was 12, my dad would take me to a place that was, that was called the Charcoal Pit. And only you real old timers could remember that place. And the reason he would take me there when I was 12 years old wasn't to get a drink, of course. It was to see the devils. And, you know, if you can imagine, in 1964, like the Beatles were just starting to come and, and that thing was just starting to happen. There was no bands, especially around Strasbourg. There was no bands to go see, especially for a 12 year old kid. But I was playing guitar and my dad knew that I was really into it, so he would take me to see the Devils. And it was the coolest thing that I ever saw. And um, Bob Wagner, of course. Ed Hill was the other guitar player who I eventually took a lesson from at one point, which was thrilling. And um, it, it was just the coolest thing to see them play and they had uh, Fender Jazz Masters, both of them. Super reverbs, brand new. We're talking 64, These, this stuff is brand new. It just came out, you know, so it, it was just really exciting to me and influential. So we're gonna have fun playing this song, Do the Devil Dance. This one's for you, Bob. We miss you. Do the devil dance. Down to the way we gotta do, and you can dance. 
first. Well, I'm gonna go there and get some. I don't know what. Let's get down. Also remember, Bob was a pharmacist. <laughs> Grand Eric's for some years. You go in, and Bob would have the little white outfit on. <laughs> wow, that's awesome! Filling out prescriptions during the day, a black cape at night, right? No. <laughs> well.